Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video, man. Peace, love, and abundance to everybody watching right now. Before we start the video, I just wanna take a moment to show my gratitude for everybody that's supporting the channel, man. That's been rocking with me for years, showing love in the comments. You know, new people that come to this channel, they feel welcome because you guys give me advice. You're not judging but everybody's on a high vibration so i give you guys your flowers for that man let's keep up the good work but today i want to talk about how to take back control over your life okay because i know a lot of us is out here struggling i'm already seeing the memes for 2024 like i, I didn't messed up this year time for 2025 right i'll get them next year but you don't have to think like that I want you guys to know there's a solution for every problem. You don't gotta give up on yourself already early in January just because you made a few mistakes, all right? So make sure y'all tap in for the whole video, man. If you haven't already, hit that like button because we about to go in, all right? Now, the first thing, guys, you gotta do, and this is something I've been doing for myself, right? I had to do this for myself because I was struggling. You have to slow down, okay? When you feel like life isn't working for you, nothing, what you're doing is working, right? You just moving, 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 going, 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 doing all these things, and you don't like the results that you're getting. It's time for you to slow down, all right? If you play sports, play football, play basketball, when everything's get out of control, you know what I'm saying? Coach call timeout. You call a timeout so that you can revise your game plan and refocus. Then go back out there with a new strategy. Sometimes you gotta call a timeout in your life. Let's analyze the situation. Let's look at some plays. Let's refocus, let's rewrite our strategy and get back out there. We take on too much in our life sometimes and the things that we're doing aren't serving us. They don't work for us. And we feel like we're obligated to keep holding on to these burdens. Let some things go, right? Sometimes you gotta take a step back, man, and allow yourself to regroup. It's okay to do that, guys. Sometimes you might have to take a whole day out. I've done this before. You might have to take a whole day where you just sit to yourself in silence and focus. What am I doing wrong? What do I need to change to see the results that I want? Because right now it ain't working for me. All right, so learn to slow down. Don't be afraid to take a time out, man. You need to take a moment to recognize your feelings. Right now, what are you feeling right now? How do you feel about yourself? What is your emotional state? Because I want you guys to understand that what you feel is what you attract. That's the secret to life. You've never seen a happy person living a sad life. You never see someone that's sad giving off happy energy. It don't work like that because you can't you can't serve in two energy frequencies at the same time. You feel what I'm saying? What you feel is what you attract to your life. So if you wake up every single day, man, and you feel terrible, you feel miserable, and you let that energy carry out throughout your day, what do you expect to attract? What do you expect? You expect to have a good day? You expect for good things to come to you, for fortune and blessings and abundance to come to you, but you don't feel that way about yourself? You're not even putting that energy out there. And this is what I want you guys to understand. How you take back control over your life is you gotta control yourself and how you feel and what you think. All these things play a part. All of them. Every single day. You gotta be on point with it. You know, sometimes I might slip up and I might go a few days or a week without doing my meditation, without doing my spiritual work, my groundwork. And it starts to affect me drastically. You know what I'm saying? Things start falling apart. 
I'm not as focused. I'm not as present. I'm not making good decisions. It starts to affect me all across the board. You get me? So this is why I wanted to tell you guys right now, man. Monitor your feelings. You got to understand the law of attraction. This is why people tell you to fake it till you make it. It's not telling you to be fake, but it's telling you to embody that energy that you want to be. Right? If, if I want to be a boss, I got to feel like a boss. I got to treat myself like a boss first. If you want to have a good life, if you want to be abundant, you got to treat yourself like you have a good life right now. You got to treat yourself like you have abundance right now. That's how you create that feeling. This is why people tell you to always be confident in yourself. No matter what others are saying, you always got to have confidence in yourself. You always got to keep that feeling. All right? This is the strategy, man. The best thing you can do, guys, right? And I want you to write this down if you got a notebook. Remember this. Jot it down. Whatever. You need to simplify your life. Sometimes we're just doing way too much. Sometimes we're just doing way too much in our life. And we need to break some things down. Find a common denominator. I might do a separate video on this topic on ways you can simplify your life. But stop taking on too much more than what you can handle. You got your cup full of all these tasks and all these responsibilities that you need to do. Some of these tasks and responsibilities that you have in your life you don't even need, you don't even have to do them. But you put that pressure on yourself. Oh man, I gotta get this done. I gotta run over here and pick this up. Then I gotta go over here and talk to this person. And it's like, you got all these things you don't wanna do, but you're doing them. But yet, you're miserable. And you don't have to do any of that stuff. So learn to keep things simple in your life, okay? This is what this matrix wants us to do. It wants us to be stressed out. It wants us to be worried all the time. You gotta be doing something. If you're not doing something, you're considered lazy. If you're not doing something, you're gonna get left behind. That's the trick. That's the trick to keep you in that rat race, to keep you stressed out. That's why everybody out here is stressed out, miserable. But they put on a facade, they put on a mask on social media and in public but deep down, a lot of people are miserable, man, because they don't have no direction. They don't have no true purpose. You're just doing stuff. Life ain't nothing but a long ass day. I want you guys to remember that. Life ain't nothing but a long ass day. The key to life is to conquer the day. All right, because throughout your day, you have to go through a series of battles. You got to go through those battles. You got to experience them and you got to learn from them. When you wake up, it's a battle for you just to get out of bed. Just for you to, to, to calm down those negative thoughts in your head. Oh, man, I got to get up today. Oh, man, I got to go to work. I got to do all this stuff. And you are already painting your day as something as a burden. Something that you have to do, but you don't want to. That's a battle. It's a battle to try to eat healthy. It's a battle for you to stay away from temptations. It's a battle for you to keep all your relationships intact. To keep your mental health intact. All these things you gotta, you gotta battle with every single day. The key is to simplify your life. This life we live in is really hell, bro. It is. The fact that you gotta get up every single day and you have to make a living for yourself. You have to, you have to survive. You gotta eat every day. You gotta groom yourself. You gotta do all these things, bro. You know? That's, that takes away some of your freedom. Because no matter what you do in life, you always gotta do these things. You gotta eat, you gotta sleep, you gotta pay your bills, you gotta wash yourself, right? There's no way out of that. And this is the whole point. The more responsibilities you take on, the more stressful your life is gonna be. Don't let yourself go out like that, okay? It's not worth it. What's worth it is showing love to yourself, What's worth it is being there for you and understanding what you can do and what you can't. You can't take on all the world's problems. You can't take on all these responsibilities. It's not going to do you any service. It's going to, it's going to harm you, if anything. All right? Cut some things out your life and only deal with the things that's important. 
You got to set priorities and you got to set boundaries. Okay? You might have to eliminate 10 things you were doing in your life and only stick with two and give all your energy to those two things. This is going to help you have clarity of thoughts. It's going to help lift the weight off your shoulders, man. I promise you, right? I tell you guys, everything I speak about on my channel is from experience. So all these things I'm telling you to do, I've done myself. I went through these situations and I did this to help fix my issue. All right. So my homework for you guys is to try it yourself. If you feel like your life isn't going your way, sit down, meditate, do some breath work in silence. No distractions, no TV on. Just sit and think. OK, how can I get out of the situation? What is my purpose? What is the purpose of me dealing with this? And after that, watch all the answers flood to you. All right, man. So. With that being said, guys, if you guys still need help, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations and a mentorship program where I help guys find their way. Situations like this. Everything I've been through in my life, man, giving you my advice, giving you the gems, the light that I went through so that you don't have to go through it. All right, so if you're interested, I'll leave my links in my description and in my pinned comments. Y'all have a beautiful day, man, and I'm out. Peace.